Later that evening, Thomas and Percy were sleeping at the shunting yard sheds. Since the big engines were taking over the timid sheds area for tonight, Thomas and Percy had to sleep at the shunting yard sheds. Just then, before the engines were about to go to sleep, they heard a whistle. It was Duck, the great western engine. He had hopped into the yards after taking a long, heavy goods train to the mainland, and he was tired out. Hello there, Thomas. Hello, Percy. Hey there, Duck. How are you doing? Eh, I'm feeling tired out. I had to take myself a long, heavy goods train all the way to the mainland. But why are you two here at the shunting yard shed? Donald and Douglas took our birth spots, so we had to stay here for the night. And this was the only place Sir Topham Hack could recommend for us. Well, if you're going to be staying here, then so can I. I can actually use the company, you know. Duck was just about to explain what thing when he was on the mainland to Thomas and Percy. But the two engines then looked over and saw Percy staring up into the starry night sky. The reason why he did this was because he always kept thinking about his crush with Rosie. Percy knew he had to tell Thomas and Duck about this, otherwise it wouldn't be a secret to him. Thomas, Duck, is it okay if I tell you a secret? Sure thing, Percy. What do you want to tell us? Is it a really bad secret? Not exactly. Do you both remember the time when I was dangling off the old mountain bridge and I told Rosie to stay with me to keep me company? Yeah. What about it, anyways? Well, you see, the actual reason is for the reason why I wanted Rosie to stay with me to keep me company on the mountain bridge was because... Ooh. I have a crush on Rosie. Thomas and Duck were surprised. They had never experienced Percy to have a soft side for Rosie. Is this true, Percy? Yeah, Thomas. Why didn't you tell us this before? Because I thought you might laugh at me if I told you. Well, we're not laughing at you, Percy. We're just a bit surprised, that's all. Surprise about what? Well, we're just surprised that you have a soft side for Rosie. I mean, she has been my crush ever since the day that she arrived, but if you think that you like her, then why don't you just ask her? I wouldn't like to tell her, but I'm just too shy to tell her. Do you promise not to tell her or Edward? Considering he is Rosie's sister. We promise, Percy. Yes, we promise, Percy. We won't tell Edward, Rosie, or any other engine about your secret crush. Thanks, you guys. You're the best. Oh, uh, uh, oh man. Looks like we should probably get to bed now. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Duck. Good night, Percy. Good night, Duck. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Percy. See you all in the morning. With that said, the three engines hopped into the sheds until their buffers touched the bar. But what the three engines didn't know was that a certain pink engine overheard the entire conversation. It was Rosie. She couldn't believe that all this time Percy had a crush on him from the very beginning they first met. With that thought of, Rosie then huffed away to think about it.